Bunyout FPV, who asks, in the Flywoo LR video, the core-only mode was used to flash a flight controller. Will that save the bind and fly tune and just flash the latest firmware? Um, I doubt it. Like, definitely whenever you flash beta flight from one major version to another, like 4.3 to 4.4, what? Side note, major version is usually the number before the dot, like 3.x versus 4.x. But with beta flight, it's more like 4.3 is the major version and 4.3.1 is the subversion. Because when you flash from like beta flight 4.2 to 4.3, 4.3 to 4.4, you always lose your config. It always wipes the config. I'm pretty sure. If you flash from 4.3 to 4.3, I don't know why you would do that, but if you flash 4.3 over 4.3, I don't think it wipes the config unless you enable the erase configuration option. So no, flashing core only will not save the bind and fly tune and flash the latest firmware. There isn't, the way to do that is to manually save the CLI dump, flash the flight controller, and manually load the CLI dump, except you can't just load a 4.3 CLI dump into 4.4. You have to manually make changes. There are some parts of it that are safe to import and other parts that aren't, and you can't just... So, in fact, this is a great way to sort of uh, make a PSA. I had a conversation today with... I'm not going to name names because I don't want to out them if they don't prefer to be outed. It was with a person who works for a company that makes bind and flies. Let's just put it that way. It could be anybody. Um, and they said, this is so annoying. We are spending so much time with our support desk helping people who bought our bind and flies. And the first thing they do when they buy their bind and fly is they flash it to the newest version of Betaflight. And then they wipe their configuration. And now their quadcopter doesn't work and they're mad at us. And he was like, I wish there was a way that we could get people to understand that when they buy a bind and fly, it's ready, it's as ready to, you don't need to flash it. If you know what you're doing, you can flash it. But if you don't know what you're doing, just fly the damn thing. Don't flash it because like you think you need to and then wipe the config and then take two hours of our support agent's time trying to help you get it sorted out and then be mad and shit talk us on the internet because you think our computer, our, our, our quadcopter's messed up. And I thought I'd put that out there. Stop updating the firmware on bind and flies if you don't know how to do that. You don't need to. Okay. I, I just want to chime in one more time. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. so I would say 30% of my calls that I do for troubleshooting are people who flashed a bind and fly and now they don't know what to do. Yep. Well, they. Uh, here's the thing. I, I, I feel for those people, those simple folk, uh, salt of the earth, you know, dumb folks. Okay, that's somebody's going to get offended and not realize that's a line from Blazing Saddles because they're young and they have no taste for comedy. Uh, I feel for those people because it's reasonable to think that when you update firmware, your configuration would be preserved. That is how firmware, even if you sort of, like when Windows updates, it doesn't just reset your whole computer. So it's reasonable to think that they don't realize that updating the firmware will wipe it. And they think, sure, of course, like when I buy a DJI drone, what's the first thing I do is I update the firmware. They don't understand that that instinct, which is completely reasonable, will screw them over because Betaflight is not a consumer focused piece of hardware. Um, anyway, I wanted to put that out there and hopefully someone will see that and not fall into this mistake.